schoolboy wants his grandpa to give him his pension to speculate in stocks, and his first trade was to short his dad's company. The reason is that through his dad's usual complaints, he determines that his dad's company's stock price is about to plummet. Although he didn't know anything about stocks, he signed the account opening form without hesitation, because only he knew that his grandson was a hidden prodigy. When his grandson Jack started kindergarten on the first day, the teacher called the parents over. Because Jack was explaining the UN's global warming study to his class, he convinced the class that the earth would soon be destroyed. The class burst into tears. At this point, the parents just thought Jack was a little lit, until at a party, dad put Jack at the piano. That's when they first realized Jack was different. parents stayed up all night excited about their son's talent. The couple agreed that they needed to find a master to nurture their son. But young Jack didn't know that he was being rewarded by God. His favorite thing to do was to build model airplanes in the countryside with his grandfather. Since learning that her son was a piano prodigy, his mother was adamant that Jack should not be doing this kind of work because he had the soul of Beethoven in his hands. And so it was that after a few years, Jack's high IQ allowed him to skip a grade and enter high school. He was supposed to be a young man, but Jack seemed to have no interest in anyone or anything around him. His only pleasure was to use the computer alone to learn more advanced knowledge. In class, the teacher's lectures were boring. The problems that people can't figure out in their heads. Jack wrote out the correct answer without even thinking about it. He even made a sarcastic remark about the teacher. The principal has no choice but to advise his parents to send Jack straight to college. Jack doesn't understand the farsightedness of the adult world. In fact, he just wanted to play like a normal kid. Grandpa saw his grandson's frustration. He took off his hat and taught his grandson a lesson that would last a lifetime. Jack understood what his grandfather meant. All of his troubles came from the fact that he was a child prodigy, so he decided to make a change. When his mother went to the trouble of taking him to see a piano virtuoso, Jack made a fool of himself. He embarrasses his mom and the maestro on the spot. On the way back, his mother rants and raves and says he's not allowed to go to grandpa's place for any more airplanes. After being scolded, Jack was very upset. At night, he sat on his bed and remembered what his grandfather had said. His young age couldn't take the full weight of it any longer. He wanted to get away from it all, so he grabbed the model airplane he'd made with his grandfather and left from the second Floor. Fortunately, Jack was taken to the hospital in time and suffered only a concussion. But unfortunately, he lost his high IQ. When he sits down at the piano, he can no longer play it in its entirety as he used to be able to hear it once. He even lost chess games to ordinary people like his grandfather. His mom took him to a psychiatrist, but there was nothing wrong with him after the doctor's examination. The IQ test also showed a normal level of 120. But this normal level was a shock to his mom. She wanted her son to be a child prodigy again, so she pushed him to read more and more academic books every day. These were Jack's favorite books, but now he not only couldn't understand them. He even hated them. Her son's strong resistance forced his mother to face reality. Jack finally returned to his normal elementary school life. He no longer had the aura of being a child prodigy. He quickly made good friends and got along well with everyone. Mom's hope turned to despair as she watched her son's carefree ways. The fame and fortune that ordinary people like her had been striving for all their lives were easily obtained by her genius son. And now her son has become just like an ordinary person. The past few years were like a dream. And now the mother has woken up. Unbeknownst to her, it was all an illusion disguised by Jack. That day, while playing at his grandfather's house, he heard a very beautiful song. He couldn't resist it any longer and wanted to play the piano. So he opened the lid of the piano when his grandfather was not in the house. He began to play from memory. But the more he played, the more he was mesmerized. He didn't realize that his grandfather was standing in the doorway. 